call this a dog tail. Or you could call it a duck tail. But for the 25 people that live in tiny Strout, Minnesota, it's not a tale at all. For them, the story of Max and Quackers is already legendary. Sometimes on my way home, I actually kind of hope they're out there because they're just too precious to look at. And they're hard to miss. <laughs> on any given day, rain or shine, the pair can be found sitting along Highway 28, looking like a greeting card, just waiting for a catch. It's a lonely country roadway, and in some ways that's symbolic of how this unlikely pair came to be. Initially he was very energetic. He was everywhere. Max was five years old when Patrick and Kirsten Riley adopted him. He became friends with Sasha, another husky they had at the time. But when Sasha passed away, Max was alone. Until the Rileys got Quackers the duckling. He too had lost a couple buddies along the way. He was without any friends. And so Max would sit next to his pen all the time, and I, I think they just kind of kind of bonded that way. And then after we let them get out, they just never left each other's side. You could say that Quackers took to Max like a duck takes to water. But the feeling was mutual. Alone no longer. They now do everything together. Everything. They sleep together. They eat together. They drink together. They go for walks together down the road. Everything is together. They share carpeted sleeping quarters in the garage, and bright and early in the morning, it's not unusual to hear the sound of web feet and paws, sometimes even a quack and a bark. It's enough to get anyone driving by to do a double take. We see people stopping over there all the time. The traffic gets clogged up over there sometimes because of all the pictures getting taken. Pictures that they'll send to the Rileys. They love it. They say it brightens their day. They're so happy to see this different friendship and love. The Rileys know Max is no longer a young pup. He's 84 in dog years. But if you measure your journey through life by being a good friend to someone else, then these two have put on a lot of miles together. After all, if a dog and duck can put aside their obvious differences, why can't the rest of us? Some people have said that a duck will find a mate, a companion, and once they have that companion, they're set. And that's what Quackers found with Max. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Okay, that is the cutest thing. Isn't it great? It's so great. Yeah, yeah. it really is cute. I love it. Yeah. Uh, the Riley say that Max and Quackers will actually sit along the road in their favorite spot, but they spend more time closer to the house in the winter. I just saw them get hit. I, I know. I want this around the side of the road there. Uh, Patrick does go duck hunting. Uh, Mac li Max actually likes to sniff the birds that Patrick's bringing home, but Max obviously doesn't look at, at Quackers like that. Like that, way, like that yeah. kind of duck. Yeah. I yeah, think you guys should go as uh, Max and Quackers for Halloween so next year. Someone will. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Should have a little webcam so we can check in on them at work every yeah, once they in a while. Tried That's not a bad the GoPro idea. on. They must have a GoPro <laughs> yeah, on, 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 Max. on Max or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh.